Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about a bunch of bug fixes or just known bugs in general, because uh, apparently there are a lot going around. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to go over is, of course, the unscheduled maintenance, which is actually going to be happening one day before the regular maintenance. Now, I don't really know why they have to roll in an emergency maintenance a day before the normal one and not just fix everything during the regular maintenance. It must have been like a really bad bug or something. But as we can see here, there is a problem with the temp request storage for the quest drill unidentified region A64, which is, of course, the limited time quest where some of the augment capsules aren't going into the correct storage for whatever reason. So, uh, you know, if you have material storage, there is an option where all capsules automatically go into material storage or all items that can go into material storage automatically go there. And apparently it's not going there for some whatever reason. So uh, that is the main bug that they're trying to fix. Now, of course, we are going to be getting some compensation, which is obviously really, really nice. But again, I just find it really strange that we're getting this maintenance one day in advance of the normal maintenance. So just keep in mind that servers will be down on July 23rd at 10 a.m. my time. So if you do live in Asia, it's going to be on the 23rd. But for my American friends, it will be on the 22nd at 7 p.m. PDT. Now, the next bug I want to go over is, of course, the limited time weapon camo, which you get by farming seasonal points. For those who don't know, there is a seasonal title when you farm. I believe it's a million points. You automatically get the weapon camo of the seasonal weapon. Weapon. Well, uh, for some reason, we're not actually getting the weapon camo. I'm sure plenty of you guys have farmed a million, two million, even four million seasonal points. But uh, for whatever reason, we're just not getting the weapon camo. So uh, just keep that in mind that they know that this is a bug. And when they do fix it, you know, they're just going to give you the weapon camo as long as you already hit the goal of farming over a million seasonal points. Now another known bug is regarding with line strike so that is of course the TCG card game. So apparently some people are having trouble registering the card into their account. So when you do the gacha system you get a bunch of cards but you actually need to consume the cards in order to use them in your decks and for some reason you're not able to actually consume the card which is causing some issues obviously because if you get a rare card and you want to use it you need to consume it to actually be a playable card so that you can use it in your decks. Um, so this is another known issue, and so they are obviously going to try to fix this ASAP. I'm guessing it's because the accumulation of these three bugs together makes it a pretty high priority, especially since they're really trying hard to push line strike to encourage more people to play the card game. You know, if you can't register the card, you can't really play the card game properly. So I kind of understand why they're doing this emergency maintenance now. Now with that out of the way, the next thing I want to remind everyone is about the mission pass itself. So remember I talked about the gold mission pass yesterday or the gold tier, and I said that you can purchase this as a free to play player. A lot of people didn't know how to do this so there are two ways the first way is you simply just click on the gold pass over here and you redeem an item like for example over here you just click take and it's going to say oh you don't have a gold pass would you like to purchase one and you can immediately just purchase it that way and spend a hundred star gems however if you wanted to be a little bit safer you can always go to the shop over here go to acsg shop Go to SG Shop, and right down here at the very bottom, there is the end mission pass gold. It costs 100 star gems. You just purchase this, you consume it, and after you do that, you'll be able to redeem all of the gold tier rewards. It's 100% worth it because of this item right here. First of all, you get the selector ticket. Normally, to get this, you need to spend 2,000 star gems, and you get this for 100 star gems. So 100% recommend to do that. And on top of that, you also get the motion glide for free as well. So this time, it is the motion glide angelic B. You get this motion item for 100 star gems. 100% worth it. Now, if you don't have the star gems, do not worry. Simply go to the seasonal shop. There's literally 100 star gems at the seasonal shop waiting for you right there. Um, so let me just show you that right now. So as we can see, we talk to the seasonal lady over here. We go to exchange seasonal points and you just got to scroll down a little bit and right here, 20 star gems. You can purchase this five times, which gives you 100 star gems for 5,000 seasonal points. Now, do keep in mind that you can actually purchase a total of 200 star gems every single seasonal event. I just already bought the original 100 star gems over here. It's actually cheaper for the first batch. It's only costing 500 seasonal points. So if you were to buy the original 100 star gems, it only costs you 
you 2,500 seasonal points. So, you know, just buy both, obviously. So that's 200 star gems right off the bat, super easy. And as I showed in yesterday's video, there's over 1.7 million Masetta worth of alpha reactors over here. So make sure that you buy out all the alpha reactors so that you get all that free Masetta. Now, the next thing I want to remind everyone is, of course, your daily task. This is kind of important. I've been really slacking because I just haven't had much time to play the game, to be honest with you guys. But as we can see here, clear limited time quest. Try to do this one every single day because you do get four reward box medals. Four is a lot. Usually they only give you one a day, but they're actually giving you four of them. So make sure that you do the limited time quest at least once a day so that you get these medals because there are some really nice items. So when we go over here to the task and quest and we go to reward box, this is where you actually use the medals. There's, for example, there is the evolution device Dark Rappy, which is a really nice mag camo. So, you know, it just changes how your mag looks. There are some really nice weapon camos here as well. And then there are also a bunch of really cool stuff. There's a pink shark. There's a shark head. So the giant shark that I've been using, there's like a pink version of it, which I don't think I've ever seen anywhere else. What else do we have? We have victory dance. We have dance seven. And we also have the motion idol yummy ice cream two and motion glide rappy B. That's actually pretty good. So um, yeah, there's a bunch of really high value items over here that I do recommend people to pick up. So just make sure that you do the limited time quest every single day, at least once so that you do get this reward over here because four medals, how many medals do you need total? I believe you need 40. So just 10 days worth of dailies and you'll be able to redeem everything from the reward box July 2024. So definitely worth it since they're essentially free items. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.